Brad Dyson here. I want to know if you remember this. On Friday night, October 14th, 1955, Lubbock, Texas would have been the place to be. Rock and roll was in its infancy, and Bill Haley and the Comets were there at the very beginning. Bill Haley and his bands were a hot commodity in the music industry after they released a song which went straight to number one position and would forever link them with the early days of rock and roll. Rock around the clock. You know, one, two, three o'clock, four o'clock rock. Their next single rose in the charts and became forever linked to the era as well. Shake, rattle and roll. Several hits were yet to come. When Bill Haley's management began preparing for the Lubbock, Texas show, they decided to search for a local band to open the show because it was cost effective. They, Bill Haley's team, would not have to pay for travel expenses, hotel, or meals, and they could hire a local band for a single night at a much lower price than if they hired someone with a hit record. Somehow, Bill Haley's team learned about a trio comprised of 18-year-old Bob Montgomery, 19-year-old Charles Harden, and 16-year-old Larry Wellborn. The trio had not settled on a name, so posters for the show just listed their names. The trio normally performed country music on local radio and at school dances, but wanted to branch out into rock and roll. Prior to the show, Eddie Crandall, manager of Marty Robbins, a country singer who was on the cusp of his meteoric rise, heard the trio performing live on Lubbock's local radio station. Eddie recognized something special in the trio and decided to attend the live concert to see how the trio performed in front of a crowd. The trio so impressed Eddie that he asked them to record four demo songs and forward them to his office in Nashville. In a letter Eddie wrote to Charles, I'm very surprised to know that nothing has happened before now. He was referring to the fact that no one had signed the trio to a contract. The trio recorded the four demos, forwarded them as instructed, and waited, and waited, and waited some more. Over the next two years, the lineup in the trio changed as Bob and Larry were replaced by Jerry Allison and Joe Malden. Nicky Sullivan joined the band as lead guitar player, but only stayed for a few months. The new group adopted a band name and began recording. Oh boy, what recordings they were! In 1957 and 1958, Charles and variations of his band recorded several hits, songs that are still played with reverence today. Had Bill Haley's management team not hired the trio as an opening act in 1955? We may never have heard of Charles Harden. On the poster for Bill Haley and the Comets show, the trio was listed not as Charles, Bob, and Larry, but, and this is a quote, Lubbock's own Buddy, Bob, and Larry. You know Charles Harden Holly as Buddy Holly. Did you remember this? Thank you for listening.